All right, this is my propeller hub. Um, I'm not sure if this technically goes a certain way or not, but there are some tick marks on there lining this up. I can't remember if I made those or if they were already on there, but I'm going to leave those orientated the same direction. Uh, I believe what I'm going to have to do is take the first half off. And you got three separate propellers. This is a whirlwind propeller. And they have like little notches that this guy actually sits down in. So we're going to put these in here kind of roughly and then put this back on with some uh, screws. So let's see if this works. I think this is how this goes. May have to scoot that over just a touch without dropping my propeller on the floor. So something like that. Put that back on there like that. Now I'll sandwich that in place. Try to put my screws in here. Kind of get this adjusted and see if I can flip it over to put the washers and nut on the other side to get it started. There. Now, none of those should come off and we'll go over to the airplane. Now this will only go a certain way on here. You got little spaces in here for where the propeller will actually go. And these little nubs here will line up with the little inside uh, cavities in there. And see what we can do. There we go, just like that. Get these halfway orientated the right way and we'll adjust that later now i'm gonna put these big bolts in here to get those started there we go all right took me just a brief second to figure out what goes where and how much to torque these down to and everything. Went to the Whirlwind uh, website and looked up the manual. The closest thing to the Viking I think was maybe the Rotax, so that's why I use it as a reference. Um, mounting bolts, def by definition mounting bolts, clamping bolts on the outside here. And uh, these mounting bolts have these special uh, locking washers. There's like a dub, they're double sided, but there's two of them. They, they will separate, but they go together and then get put underneath the mounting uh, bolts. And this is a number six Allen size. And they get torqued down to approximately 180 inch pounds. The mounting or the uh, clamping bolts, uh, this on the end is kind of a special end. It takes a quarter inch 12 point only they will fit on this. Uh, quarter inch 12 point will fit, socket will fit on this. And the back side's a 5 16 inch wrench Okay, I don't think you're going to get a socket on the back of that. And according to the Whirlwind website, it says 96 inch pounds on these outer ones here. So it took me a little while to figure that. I went ahead and put um, anti seize on each one of the, on all the threads, on all the bolts. And they're in there loose right now. I'm going to tighten these up uh, a little bit, tighten these up just a little bit where I can still move my propeller so I can try to get all three blades set to around. I'm gonna shoot for like 21 degrees starting out and uh, I'm gonna leave that in at 21 degrees and uh, maybe use that for my test run. If uh, anybody has anything different they're using or any suggestions, please let me know. All right, we'll try. I'm getting ready to tighten up my last propeller. I got it over at 21 degrees. I uh, did the other two already, just finished up this one. I used my phone as a video device, also used it as a uh, an angle finder so I could get my 21 degrees. What I did, I used, I used this as my uh, reference for flat and uh, whatever this ended up being didn't matter what it was, whether it was minus five, plus 10, whatever, it didn't matter. If I put it on there, push zero on my phone so it zeroed it out. And then I came over here, to this little piece of wooden uh, stick that came with the propeller, put my phone up to here and twisted 
a positive angle of attack until it read 21 degrees. And I uh, did that for all uh, props here, or propellers. Now I'm going to tighten this up. I'm just going to, I'm not going to torque it down, just, just to get it snug is all I'm looking for here. Just so it don't move on me. There we go, that's tight enough there. I'm going to tighten these just a little bit because I had to loosen those in order to, to turn the uh, propeller to the 21 degrees I was looking for. Again, that's just going to be a, a trial at 21 degrees. Kind of see where we're at. Let's get these snug and I'll torque these in the correct pattern uh, probably tomorrow. Get that little bit. There we go. And I'm going to come back with my phone <laughs> once I turn the video off and make sure that's still stayed at 21 degrees. Rotate all this around again, make sure they're all at 21 degrees. Torque everything down. See ya. Well, the spinner comes pretty much like this and uh, has holes for the mounting uh, to the back plate. Then they give you kind of a little guide to make uh, three cutouts. So I'm going to do that next with my Dremel tool and uh, see if this thing will fit. Probably have to fine tune it when I get to the hangar. Okay, I went ahead and uh, checked the pitch on this. It's anywhere from 20.8 to 21 degrees and uh, went through it several times. Had to adjust, had to loosen the bolts and adjust it once on one of these. And uh, they're pretty consistent now. Rotated it several times. Time for the nose cone. Uh, I did have to uh, enlarge these holes a little bit, but the, as far as their markings were perfect, as far as the propeller goes. Um, just has a handful of screws that keeps this guy on. Kind of keep that loose for now. These are all fitting really nice. Get these kind of tightened up and uh, move on to something else. All right, got it done. Uh, spinner's on, cowling's on, everything looks great. Uh, there is a slight waviness to the top part of the cowling in that gap there, but I'm done with that. And there is a slight drop right there. Uh, not overly concerned about that for now. And uh, I'm so done with this cowling. I just want to get the engine started. Uh, haven't ran since I first got the engine and mounted it. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, putting all my temps where I need to on the EIS. Uh, get everything set up. So that will read nice. What else do I have left? Uh, oh, these little struts for the doors. Um, I need to mount these guys, which what, four holes, rivets, struts, and that's just to hold my doors up. And you can see where one part of the strut goes on that little guy in there. These doors are on, but they're not being held up right now. So anyway, that'll, that'll get mounted right over there, one on each side, and that'll hold my doors open. And the uh, end number, I just have a blue tape on there now. I'll probably just wipe that off with some alcohol, stick it on there for now until I decide what I want to do, whether I want to paint that, polish it, what I'm going to do with it. And what else? Uh, weight and balance. Get the weight and balance next. And uh, again, start the engine. We're close. All right, guys, next time. See you.